Hey D crew, welcome back to my channel, Danny on Demand. Um, I'm coming to you today with a video just with little face beat and some get to know me questions. So um, I know I'm new to this YouTube stuff, so I just wanted to do a video for my new subscribers and people who may come across my channel just to get to know me a little bit better. Um, if you have any questions after this video, please put them in the comment section below. And let's not forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Um, I do appreciate the support I do get on my channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to see this book and hear more about me, I'll take you to the next clip. <laughs> Other than that, guys, have a good day. Bye. Enjoy. But you know what I mean. So let's get to the makeup. <laughs> um, so I'm leaving the house today if anybody's like well why are you leaving the house why haven't you left the house um, I haven't left the house because um, I had a foot injury no I didn't break my ankle no I didn't break my foot no I didn't sprain my ankle I had something called plantar fasciitis I don't know if I'm saying that right but I think I'm saying that right I know I haven't really heard of it either before but it happened to me it happened suddenly, um, like two weeks ago, when I was at work, and it is something that could just suddenly happen. It's, it happens to the heel of your foot. So when I was, um, like I had, I took what Monday off to go to a, to the podiatrist. Mind you, I've never been to a podiatrist before in my life, so it was my first time even going to a place like that. I'm putting um, primer and a primer oil on my face right now. So, yeah. So, I've had the foot condition. They told me I had to be out of work for a week. So, we're out of work for a week. You know? It is what it is. Um, so, when I went back to get reevaluated, they told me I had to be out another week. So I've literally been out of work for two weeks. This is the longest I've ever been out of work before in my life. So yeah, it's been a little rough being home. It's alright to be home, I don't mind being home. But you know, you get kind of like stir crazy and you're like, I need to go outside, I need fresh air, I need to see people. For a while, I didn't really want to see people, but sometimes you're like, I just need to get out. So I'm gonna get out today and do a little something. My doctor told me I could take the boot off today. Oh yeah, I've had a boot from having it too. So he told me I could take it off today um, and see how I feel with walking and everything like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going crazy. I'm not going to party. And, and like, so we're going to go from one car to the restaurant, sit down, eat the other car. Like, so I'm not doing nothing too crazy. I really want to work out though. But anyway, I'm about to put on my Fenty foundation. I am in the color 420. So we're going to just this into my face so we're gonna do some questions like get to know me type questions so let's um get to some of these questions while i try to do this at the same time you know females we can always multitask ask guys to do this it don't usually work no judgment <laughs> uh hold on so one of the first questions is my favorite cuisine is um my favorite cuisine is seafood. I love seafood. Um, I could eat seafood all day. That's one of the things that uh, I could just eat all day. Seafood. I love crab legs. I, I'm, a, I'm actually really craving crab legs. Uh, I'm hoping me and my friend could go get some crab legs next week. Um, hopefully I am cleared and I could like fully go somewhere. But yeah, crab leg is my favorite. I like shrimp. I love um, lobster. Yeah, I could never, I could say I could probably go without meat, but I can't cut seafood. There's no way I would ever cut seafood. Sorry, it's just not happening. Um, like all of this vegan stuff, you want me to cut seafood? We don't do that. That's, that's not happening. But yeah. What's your favorite food? Down below, let me know your favorite food, guys. What do you like? And with foundation, you have to do this a lot. I know you may, like I may go past this a little bit, but you gotta make sure you blend your foundation and blend in your neck. 
I'm not that crazy where I'm gonna blend nowhere down here, but you wanna make sure you're at least getting down there. You know? So, um, one of the next questions is, um, my favorite ice cream filly, my favorite ice cream flavor. I have two, so you're gonna know two. Butter pecan, and I remember when I was a kid, I hated butter pecan. But butter pecan and vanilla with sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles, and chocolate syrup. I am the most basic ice cream person ever. Uh, <laughs> With a lot of food, I'm pretty basic. If you see me look down, I'm looking down at the mirror. But with a lot of food, I'm pretty basic. I am very like, just give me what is made of and you know, I don't want anything extra. I remember at one point I tried to start like eating like the Cold Stone stuff. And then I was like, eh, like it's too much, too much stuff. And I'm putting concealer on my face right now. Fenty concealer. Um, then if, it depends. Um, the next question is my non-alcoholic drink of choice, tea. Hot tea, hot tea in the morning. If I am sick, obviously I'll do it like without it being in the morning, but I love hot tea. Like I need my hot tea in the morning. Um, and regular iced tea, like, <sighs> My iced tea is right here. Iced tea with lemon juice or with lemons. It has to have lemon juice or lemons in it. Iced tea, favorite drink. Favorite non or favorite alcoholic drink. I'm not that much of a drinker. So I kind of just drink what's there or anything that's fruity, a margarita. Oh. I don't mind Hennessy. It's not my first drink of choice, but I'll drink it. But you know, not that really keen on like a lot of um, alcoholic drinks. It's weird. Uh, let's see. The thing I find most attractive in a person is, I would say, their drive, um, their ambition. Does that make sense? Not necessarily a look. It's just like their confidence makes me attracted to them. And if they can back up the confidence, then that's even more, you know, like extra good there. I'm not really like a, ooh, he look good. Like I could look at that, but then at the end of the day, sometimes you find a lot of people that look good, they dumb. I'm sorry. You could be, you could look as good as you could look, dress all nice. But at the end of the day, you open your mouth like, oh, you turn, mm -mm, mm -mm, you turn me off. So yeah that's that um i mostly listen to r&b music it says music wise um r&b music i am a r&b head um before i turned this video on i was listening to r&b i am when i say i'd rather listen to that over anything in the world um and i don't care if it's sad like a lot of people are like oh why do you want to listen to it it makes you sad Sometimes you need to be sad, like, you know. I like love music, I like love, I like listening to that. Um, and don't get me wrong, I do have my forms of like, you know, ratchito music, it's all right. But I prefer that. Nine times out of 10, you will, that is in my ears. So, you know, that music. Um, I'm allergic to, I'm not allergic to anything. Um, I haven't, in all my years of living, I haven't, Found anything that I'm allergic to, which I believe is a good thing. Um, the next, like I do, I do want to get a food sensitivity test. And I may take y'all with me when I do that. I want to take a food sensitivity test to see um, what foods react well to my body. Because you know, like some people be like, oh, dairy is not good for me or uh, red meat does this to my body. You get a food allergy test or a food sensitivity test, you'll find out what works for you. And I suffer for, from eczema, so I want to see if anything that I'm eating is causing that. Um, I know they said it's because of sweat and I do work out, but just to see like if anything correlates to that. Um, and then sometimes, well, because I do work out, I want to know if there's any food that specifically helps with that. 
You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to do one of those. But um, I'm not allergic to anything. And the powder I just put on my face is the Becca. Oop, I'm going to y'all. It's a Becca powder. It is um, called the Golden Bronze Setting Powder. I love this stuff. Laura Mercier who? No, no, no. We don't do Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier gives people our color flashback. I need y'all to stop using that. It does. Um, so I'm going to leave this under my eyes a little bit. And then um, go to the next question. Hmm. The most boring sport to watch? Baseball. Baseball is boring. Boring. Uh, I don't mind playing it. I used to play. I played it in high school a couple times, you know, out there. But boring as hell. Um, I can't play an instrument. <laughs> I think I tried to play the flute at one point. It just, this is not me. I'm not a flute player. I'm not a drum player. I'm not a piano player. It's just not, I'm not, it's not me. Um, let's see. <laughs> I once made blank from scratch. This um, Thanksgiving, I made a coconut custard pie from scratch. And I must say, your girl did that. Like, did that. It came out so good. Like, I'm, I'm going to have to make it again. And it was really good. Like, I watched the recipe. got a recipe on YouTube. I bought the hand mixer. It was, bang it. Like, bang it. I'm still talking like, bang it. <laughs> um, I once wrote a book slash short story about, I haven't never wrote a book, but I used to write poetry long time ago way yonder back in my old life no. um i wrote poetry at one point i kind of stopped that but i used to love poetry and um all of that stuff but i did do that at one point uh let's see i blank better than most people i'm opinionated more than most people i, I have a lot to say usually if I don't have a lot to say, something is wrong, but I usually do. Uh, let's see. I have visited two countries in my life. I hate to say that it's only been two. It's all right, though. I'm going to get more under my belt. Um, I went to Aruba before and Mexico recently for my birthday. Um, the next country I would like to go is Jamaica. I'm going to Jamaica this year. I don't care. I'm going to Jamaica this year. That, that's where I really want to go. Um, I love places that are hot and nice and, and warm. I don't want to really go to a cold place. If I have to, I will. Like, it's not my first place. It's just somebody else would have to say you want to go. It probably won't be on my first top five list. Um, and I just want to travel more this, this year or travel more in my life. Um, it's a lot of world to see. So I definitely want to do that out there. So I need to do stuff for myself and go travel and live my life. Uh, let's see. I have zero siblings. I am the only child. Can you tell? Only child syndrome. I'm the only child. My mother and father stopped at me because I was just so wonderful. Sorry. They just was like, she's it. We don't, we don't need to have no more. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> let's see. My fondest childhood memory. Mm. <laughs> And with the powder underneath my eyes, by the way, guys, I am just pressing it in. So I'm not really sweeping it away. So, yeah, he pushed me off this way. Uh, <laughs> and I used to um, run to my father on the basketball court when I was hungry. I used to be like, Daddy, Daddy, I'm hungry. And he's reaching his sock and give me, like, sweaty money and tell me to go. To, I went to get, like, pizza or go to Mr. Frosty, the ice cream thing, and get my food and my ice cream and stuff like that. And then I would come home and my mother would be like, you're so dirty, take off your clothes. And I used to dump my sand out of my shoe. Like that was a memory because we used to actually play and have fun. So uh, that's a fond childhood memory. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's see. My favorite school subject was history. I loved history. Um, I could definitely say history was it for me. Um, 
I liked learning about history, African American history, American history, any kind of history I liked. If you look at any of my grades for history, that was the good grade I used to get. <laughs> and uh, my dream job, wow. Hmm, dream job. Something that makes me happy. I think initially my dream job was being on TV or doing something that involves my opinion, if I make sense. Um, I used to want to be a teacher. And then I found out how much they got paid. And then these kids are bad. I probably wanted the teachers in the classroom beat the kids up because I ain't with the disrespect. But I see how me wanting to be a teacher back in the day leads to like things I want to do now because I like to teach. I like to train people. I like to do things like that. This is why I'm on YouTube, by the way, because I like to teach and train and talk and, you know, different things like that. So I think anything that involves teaching, training, um, elevating people, I want to do something like that. I think that would really fulfill me at the end of the day. I just don't know exactly what that job is. I just got to figure that out. <laughs> I got to figure that out. If you have an idea of what that could be, let me know down below in the comments. Um, let's see. My first job ever, I worked at Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts was my first job. Um, I liked working there. I used to always, um, what's it called, get good tips. And I used to work there either after school or on my days off from school and I used to walk home this is when I lived in Georgia and can you believe when I started working that first job I didn't know how much I got paid <laughs> that's how young I was I literally one day I got my check and I think I just like multiplied how much my check was and then figured out how much my check how much I got paid an hour you know how much I got paid an hour <laughs> I paid five dollars and sixty-five cents. I was balling. I used to get my nails done by myself. I used to get my hair done when I needed my hair done. I used to be able to get my little toiletries. You know, I got my little stuff um, for school. Yeah, that's how much I got paid. Uh, let's see. Hires me most. There's two. So don't judge me. I have two people. Uh, the most famous people that inspire me the most, I would say Beyonce. Um, to me, she is the epitome of lady, of sass, of sexy, of edgy, of family, of wife. Like that is, she is all round woman to me. To me. I don't know her like that, obviously, so I can't say she's like, you know, fully like that. But in my eyes, in my head... That's what she is to me. Um, I would say her. I am using, by the way, the Desi Perkins and Katie palette from Dose of Colors. And I'm just putting a little bit of color in my eyes. Guys, I don't really do my eyes that much. Quick sidebar. I would love to do videos, and let me know what you think, of me just trying to do <laughs> makeup looks. But then y'all are doing them like you're going to see me learn how to do them and see if I could do them good. You know what I mean? So let me know if you want to see that. Like I want to kind of like do more videos like that. And I'm just smoking out my corners really fast. And then I'm going to put some sparkle somewhere in my eyes. But yes, her and then Diddy. Diddy. Um, Diddy to me is the epitome of like hip-hop history like hip-hop everything like no his life is not perfect i didn't say he's perfect i know he got some skeletons but i love how positive he is and how i don't know how he like brings his family and his friends with him and he just he just has something and and i and i love it i, I love what he stands for um I would say Diddy. Those are the two famous people, Diddy and Beyonce. Those are people that I like. 
my achievement I'm most proud of. Getting my apartment. That's what I'm most proud of right now in my life. Um, my apartment is my baby. It is, um, you know, what I am proud of. And I'm putting, this is Violet Voss. It's a little, it's a palette that looks like this. So I'm putting this gold sparkly color in here i can't see that they don't have the colors on here but i got this one day at sephora you know how they get you when you go to the um proudest moment <laughs> i forgot almost most proudest moment um was that um when i was able to get my apartment and because this is what i always wanted i always lived in like a small apartment and in new york if you know rent is high so when I was able to get my apartment, I was very excited and I got it on my own and it's mine. So I was really excited about that. Um, yeah. So I'm just blending this in a little bit so it don't have any harsh lines. Favorite childhood toy, dolls. I used to love dolls. I used to play with dolls and then um, I would wash their hair like they actually had a scalp and I used to blow dry their hair and um, I remember I used to um, make them be my classroom. So I had a chalkboard and then I had like, um, what's it called, chalk and I used to get like old tests and stuff from my teachers and I used to pass it out to my dolls like if they were right in my class and I used to grade papers because I don't want to be a teacher so this is what I did and I love my dolls so and I love dolls with hair I used to hate people who gave me a doll without hair you see with the thing in my hair right why would you give somebody a doll with no hair why what am I gonna do with a doll with no hair I used to hate that oh my god for birthdays I'm like why you give me a doll with no hair Anyway, that just, I, I just that just woke up in my spirit for a second. <laughs> um, I'm going to put some uh, color into my eyes really quickly. A little bit of highlighter. Highlight, highlight, highlight my face. Highlight my face. Take some of the oil off my nose. Last question I'll answer, and then I'm just going to finish up my makeup and stuff. Is um, best advice I have ever received i'm back <laughs> all right i have the most simple outfit on i will try to show you what i have on because like i said this is not nothing to like i don't have to dress that much up in a way um i'm really a little upset because i really wanted to wear heels and since i have the thing going on with my foot i'm not trying to like bust out with heels and you know i need to still keep my feet flat and i have on a compression sock so i'm gonna keep it you know light and cute so simple outfit just a black turtleneck black leggings and some tall black boots flat boots simple but my face is gonna be nice so i'm putting on um a liner i got this liner once again out of a boxy time box so there she goes i do like my braids so i'm just gonna There we go. She's done. Like I said, the most simple look. Simple. 